What's going on guys, the Inhum Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Grand Order, and my voice is slowly getting shot. Uh, Alright, we're getting down to the end of Solomon. We now know the name of our foe. I, we just don't know how to pronounce it. I'm stuck between, like, Guitia and Guitia, Guitia, um, I really don't know how to pronounce it, and I honestly don't give a shit how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna call him... Uh, go Goetia? Goetia. Goetia. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Goetia. I don't care if that's how you pronounce it, because there are no vocal lines for him. At least, none in the story where I could possibly hear people say his name, so I have nothing to go on. I know there's way to- I know you could pronounce it, but I want an actual English pronunciation of his name. Which I'm not gonna get, so let's move on, shall we? Future. The future is now. Look, the east is burning red. Eh, I think the other one's better. Depending on whether or not I want to bring uh, Mash or not. Yes. So let's just put let's right here. We'll put Mash up front for this fight. We'll shoot. And we'll put Jalter here. And this time I'm going to remember because I just thought of it. I just remembered. There it is. The future is now! I immediately forgot how I was gonna say his name now. Goedia. I'm- yeah, Goedia. Goedia, the name of the 72 demon gods combined! A living summoning spell that hid itself inside King Solomon's corpse after his death! Then it gained will and incarnated. Not just that, the spirit origin signature I'm seeing doesn't even belong to a caster anymore. That is no longer King Solomon's body. It's one of the seven evils of humanity, a beast of calamity, Beast One. Correct. I am. No. We were made by human hands. I am a higher dimension being that no longer requires flesh and blood. I was granted greater powers than humans and once lived to serve them. But that is no longer the case. I am done with humans. Once there was a king who was omnipotent and omnisentient. He was given these powers by God. His eyes could see the past and the future, and know all there was to know about the world. We became that man's shadow and saw what he saw. Lo, as we were his guardian spirit, we had no choice but to synchronize with him. We saw much sadness. We saw many betrayals. We saw much pillaging. We saw many ends. We have seen enough and will see no more. Even the gods can meet no end on this planet except through annihilation. We no longer care about humans or the future. What I seek is a perfect environment to raise a healthy sapient being. This planet was a mistake. It was madness. Predicted on life with a fixed duration. I will reach the apex of all of it. 
I shall go 4.6 billion years into the past and bear witness to the moment when this celestial body was born. I shall absorb all its energy and make myself into a new planet to remake this world. I shall rewrite the book of Genesis and create a world without the concept of death. That shall be our grand deed. We did not destroy mankind out of hatred. We needed the energy to venture to the past. We needed it to perform the infinite turning to witness the birth of a planet. A plan like this requires a vast amount of magical energy. To be precise, 3,000 years worth of magical energy stored up by all sapient beings. And so by turning all of human history from 1000 BC to AD 2018, into magical energy, we would have acquired the necessary amount to journey to the beginning of this planet. That is the only reason for us to incinerate mankind. To us humans are just fuel for a propulsion device that could launch us to the very beginning. Behold the throne. This is the convergence of your lives. Our bands of lights are the infinite possibilities of human history. Those born of humans will pose no threat to them! No one can beat those bands of light. Fool? I see. I was born for this exact moment. Isn't that right, Doctor? Mash. Now then, I have shown you due respect. It is only time for retaliation. As you heard, we are very busy. My true work is still waiting. Even beings as foolish as you understand how annoying it is when work that was thought finished comes back to you, right? The time has come. The plan for, remake, for the remaking of the planet is complete. And obviously on this journey of, to the apex, you are unnecessary. I shall now perform my last task in this region, in this era, and on this earth. Welcome everyone. Now die. The words that end this useless discussion. Goetia, the king of demon kit gods, has entered a combat stance. If he uses those bands of light, we can't win. We need to defeat him somehow before he uses his noble phantasm. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be easy. Considering there's two stages to this fight, I don't think we're going to succeed. Also, his voice sounded weird because I was trying out a thing. I was like, okay, he's a combination of all the demon gods. I'm going to mix all the voices I use for the demon gods together. And I was like, okay, fuck that. No, this is too hard. This hurts. Adventure Beast. Well, at least you're straight to the point. Alright. So he's just like the demon god pillars. He takes damage from the cavalry units. Ow, my kidneys. Ow, my everything. Alright. Well, that hurt. A lot. Sorry, Mash, I need you to give your life. Oh, 
I wonder if I can stun him. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I was like, eh, maybe. Alright. Garden of Avalon. There we go, there was some good damage. Wow, I took half his health with that attack. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, he's a JoJo character. Holy fuck. So I get he's probably doing... Okay. Yeah, that was planned. Okay. Foo -foo! Deployment of... Goetia's third noble phantasm confirmed. It, it can't be stopped, can it, Master? How boring. Why would you simply accept this mass curiolite? Goetia? I've come to understand you. Can you not understand me? We both know how utterly meaningless life truly is. We mourn death's inevitable approach. Isn't that right? The future is hollow. Humanity is worthless. Because even alive, they must be in constant fear of death. No matter what, death always comes for them and separates people from each other. I tire of it. A world without death should be exactly what someone like you wishes for. Though we are all now one, a measure of uncertainty yet remains. We want someone, just a single person, to understand us. If we have even that much, then we can be completely certain in our plan. Mass Curialite, a life made by man, and one that is about to disappear. Join with us in rejecting all of human history. Tell us that we are correct. Just say one word. Yes. With your assistant. With your assent. We shall permit you to journey with us towards the apex. Goetia, you're... I'm sure you're well aware of Venizanagi, that her life has long since reached its limit. Honor thy neighbor, believe in thy friend, love thy comrade. If that is what human righteousness is, then do not interfere. Something within us is telling us not to leave her to die, to not let that last memories of this planet be of tragedy. Don't you feel the same? The incineration of humanity cannot be stopped. If you're going to die either way, shouldn't you at least save MASH? That's right. You've been asking me the same thing all along. It's true that if death is certain, then life is meaningless. I cannot deny that. If you agree. But meaning isn't something humans find in their own lives while they live. It's true that a world without death or endings would be one without sadness. But that would be wrong. Even if I could live for eternity, I wouldn't want to. The world I'm seeing is the one that's right in front of me. Even if my life ends in the blink of an eye. I want to see every second I can of this future. Senpai, will you hold my hand one more time? Yeah. A shame. Then burn to ash along with this era. Third Noble Phantasm deployment complete. 
I shall herald the end of humanity with a fire that scorches the world. Farewell, Vain Izanagi. Farewell, Mash Kyrielite. Your journey ends here. No, leave it to me. Mass Kyrielite engaging the enemy. You're just getting started, Master. Your battle isn't going to end in a place like this. God damn it, Mash! Mash, you goddamn idiot. I'm so glad they got subtitles working for this point. This would have been so, like, underwhelming if I couldn't understand what was going on. It was like time had stopped. Nothing on Earth existed that could stop those bands of light, but that was only if one thought in terms of physical laws. Her defense was a shield of the psyche. If there was no impurity and no hesitation within it, its invincible walls would never melt or break. I knew that. I knew that, of course. The walls of her castle could defend against even my third noble phantasm, but that meant... Yelling. That hellish moment continued, as she blocked the heat that would pierce the planet, she thought. She thought of the journey so far and the journey to come. She thought of her past and of the future she could- she would not be there for. I'm glad. This should open up an opportunity for you, Master. Thank you for everything. I wanted to pay you back for everything you gave me. That's why I was able to put my own weaknesses aside and push ahead, Senpai. And now, finally, I really feel like my life had value. Like Captain Drake said, at the very end, I realized my wish. That's right. That's why we wanted your approval. But I regret one thing. I was always the one that was protected. So at least once, I wanted to be useful to Senpai. That is right. Even after all those battles, it still was not nearly enough for her. That was how strong her gratitude toward Vaini Zanagi was. Even if it all started with a simple chance meeting one morning, she was always protected by Vane, and she was able to fight because Vaini Zanagi was there. Behold the result. Her body could not take the heat from the bands of light and evaporated. But her heart remained untouched, and her snowflake shield remained unscathed, as it protected her master to the end. That's why I say that she was neither a brave warrior, nor the protagonist of the story. In the end, she was simply an ordinary girl. Well, Mash is dead. Time to find a new, uh, new love interest. It's over. It ended just like I imagined. <laughs>